Now we will discuss possible causes of such. Possible causes, as we already discussed some of them, is the high pressure build up in the header, which is greater than the discharge of the compressor. So if EDF would be greater than PD, the flow would be reverse. A low suction pressure low suction pressure would cause decrease in the discharge pressure. And again if the discharge pressure becomes lower than the header pressure, surge can occur. At startup condition, at startup of a compressor stage, there is lower pressure at the discharge and greater pressure in the header. So that condition can cause um, surge. Similarly, emergency shutdown of the unit. When the system emergency shutdown is a shutdown which is due to any fault and at emergency shutdown, the speed of the compressor suddenly reduces. So at that stage, uh, the PD of the compressor will also reduce and therefore uh, surge, uh, chances of the surge occurrence are very high. So surge control strategies. What are the surge control strategies? The simple strategy is, the proper strategy is to eliminate the surge, is to rapidly reduce the pressure buildup by opening a blow off or recycle valve in the discharge system to maintain minimum flow. We can blow off the extra pressure buildup in the discharge line. Uh, if there is gas uh, our process system, if the, our process system is of gas, then it would be very costly to blow off. So the smart technique would be to get it recycled that put the gas back to the section of the compressor and recycle instead of wasting it in blowing oil. Blow off causes waste of expensive process flow, therefore recycling is preferred and most be carried out through electronic 4 to 20 mA operated control valve which is known as anti-surge control valve. Anti-surge control system Anti-surge control system is designed to determine the surge condition in compressor and to operate the anti-surge control valve in an efficient and speedy manner to protect the centrifugal compressor from the surge. In my thesis, uh, I simulated the compressor in HASIS version created and implemented the efficient anti-surge control system, which consists of a very sophisticated algorithm, uh, which we will discuss further. Uh, this is a typical process diagram. At the section, the gas goes to the inlet scrubber, and then there are there is the orifice flow meter, which measures the flow of the gas. This instrumentation is installed to make the compressor map from where the system determines the surging condition, and the output would be the uh, and output would be four to twenty milliampere of the anti surge control valve. So here the gas goes to the compressor which is driven by the turbine and over in this situation and then the pressure increases and the temperature increases the temperature is then reduced by this upper cooler and there is the non-return valve and this is the discharge system or head system and this is the recycling line. Please uh, I want to uh, repeat that another uh, strategy is blowing off that if there is high pressure build up in this system, we can blow it off. But this would cause the waste of the flow. So the smart technique would be the recycling of the process fluid. So this is uh, how an anti surge controller, this is the anti surge controller. Its input are this differential pressure, which gives, uh, which gives us the flow, suction pressure, suction temperature, discharge pressure, and discharge temperature. So five sensors, we have installed five sensors at field from where this controller builds up the compressor map and then performs calculations and uh, gives its output according to algorithm which will be discussed further. Now we will discuss 